Welcome you absolute legends, I am Fumble Freaks, I am Pete, I am back and we're going to talk about a topic again those people don't want to talk about, it's discontinuation, this is part two of the series I'm going to talk about discontinued fragrances that if you find any of these and you really want to pick them up don't break your bank account please but if you find them for a reasonable price and you think it's worth you might want to look at them and pick them up for yourselves then hopefully this will give you some help so as always there's 10 here I'm going to crack straight on for number 10. Alright we're starting at number 10 and this is no particular order I've just done it a little bit random so if you think one's the best and ten's the worst it's not the case I love all of these and it's quite sad that they've gone especially number 10 this was one of my first fragrances I ever bought I think probably the first within the first five I would say and I was lucky to find a bottle of this and this is Davidoff Echo now the bottle's very unique it's like almost wavy on it the atomizer's weird but Oh, I don't miss that smell at all. It's very, very punchy in the air. It's got things like chili, sandalwood, nutmeg, black pepper, and some musks. Very nice. The bottle's a little bit bashed up, but that's fine. The smell, it instantly takes me back to when I was younger, probably a bit more youthful, a bit more playful. And this one I would wear quite nicely. And to be honest with you, it's not in the best condition, I can easily clean it up. But honestly, in terms of one of the best older fragrances, and it still work, would work today quite easily. If Davidoff re-released this, this would sell. I give you, kid you not. So Davidoff Echo is my number 10. All right, just to let you know that that was coming out in 2003. The next one comes out two years later. This was a cheapy gem, and I was lucky to get it before it went skyrocketing through the forest. It's Jean-Franc Affrette Eau de, de Cologne. Now this is a tester bottle which I'm not bothered about. But oh my good God, this is so fresh, it's unreal. But it's also got blackcurrant, some melon, jasmine, amber and neroli. And this one, you have to go a little bit heavy on. Um, don't go light on this, go about 10, 15 sprays, you, it'll be fine. Um, it lasts about four hours, but that's because it's an eau de cologne and you don't expect that to be very much But it smells freaking awesome. I really do enjoy this one This one especially if you wanted to have a reasonable even if it's a moderate day this thing will work But like I say been discontinued if you do find it for a reasonable price and this does sometimes pop up but here and there Maybe you want to pick up a bottle. It's that good and it's that refreshing and that liberating and it's lovely no one can play about this one it's number nine Eau de Cologne by Gianfranco Ferrer all right cracking in sorry cracking into number eight and this went back to 2003 and this was well ahead of its time and this one I'm quite gutted it's not come back yet it's Versace man I've got a massive hundred mil bottle of this so I'm not but oh oh yeah it's that tobacco hit that straight away it smacks you in the face but angelica amber and some saffron and a bit of cashmere wood in this it smells amazing it performs like a beast i'm so lucky that i've still got a bottle of this it does come up here and there if you want a beautiful tobacco fragrance and you're thinking i might not be able to if you look on the gray market for this one and make sure you do your due diligence don't be stupid about this and you find this bottle, cherish it because it's an absolute beautiful fragrance. So for Saatchi Man, it's my number eight. All right, moving into number seven, we go to 2015 now, and this whole line has been axed, but if you find this for a good price, these are amazing from the house of Ralph Lauren. It's Supreme Leather. I'll tell you now, this is up there with the likes of Tuscan Leather, Ombre Leather for me. It's an amazing fragrance. Wow. It is very spicy. It's got like cardamom, nutmeg, leather, saffron, tonka. It's just got everything you want and it performs so well. This is like probably the nicest way of. It's like a, a twist between ombre leather and Tuscan leather. It's kind of in between the two for me. Very nice, very unique, 
works amazingly well in winter time. If it's a cold day and you're wearing this, I trust you now, trust me now, this thing will perform and it'll make you smell amazing. And if you wanna go on a date night and you want a secret weapon, this is one of them. So Supreme Leather by Ralph Lauren is my number. All right, number six, and this one came out in 2013 now. Every single fragrance from this house is going. Um, I think I only need one more, one or two left that I haven't got. But this is Ferrari Leather Essence. Oh my God. This was going for about 25 quid. How it was doing that, I don't know, but my God. Two leather fragrances that smell amazing. But it's got clove, bitter orange, leather, cinnamon and tonka. The presentation's fantastic. The juice is amazing. Again, if you want to wear this in the winter, I guarantee you will get compliments on this one. Very unique, amazing fragrance. Ferrari are axing all their fragrances. So get this, if you can, for a good price, it's well worth picking this one up. So Ferrari, Leather Essence, my number six. All right, top five time now. And like I say, all of these are great, but this one I particularly enjoy. This is a unisex offering. And for the house of Tom Ford, it is Lavender Extreme. It's very bright, it'll, if it dazzle you, I'm really sorry. But this one, oh, it is so fresh. It's got that hit of lemon straight away. You can't deny it. But it's also got that beautiful lavender in it, which makes it make more, kind of a bit more refined, a little bit more grown up. But violet, cinnamon, and geranium, it's a beautiful scent. If you want to wear this in the summer, performs really well actually, I get eight, nine hours after this. So again, sad it's gone, but my God, if you find a bottle of this and it's not ridiculously priced, maybe you want to check it out. If you find a sample of this or something like that and you're thinking, well, I'm not sure, try it that way. But this one is beautiful, it's absolutely awesome. Um, sad it's gone, but Lavender Extreme, my number five. All right, number four. This one came out in 2010 and this one is a Probably my language is a bitch to find. But if you can find this one, Killian Rose Oud. Oh my, I love a Rose Oud fragrance. This is quite possibly my favorite. And to see it's gone. Oh, the way they've done this is Rose Oud, Saffron and Gayak Wood. The way they've put it together, it smells absolutely incredible. I don't know why they got rid of it. I can't answer you on that one. But when you smell it in the air, I will tell you now, people will drool over this. I will might even be wearing this this Christmas just to see how it goes. I've got lovely, lucky I've got a 50 mile mail. I'll never get through this. So Rose Oo is my number four by Killian. All right, number three, and this came out in 2014. Now this one is possibly one of my favorites of all time. If you find a bottle of this, Bulgari Man in Black, this is getting hard to find now. But I can't get over this one. Spices, rum, leather, it's again, leather fragrances again, which is kind of unusual. Two brews and iris are some of the notes in this. It smells amazing off my skin. Uh, I've got a massive 100 ml bottle. I will never get through this ever in my lifetime. But that's fine, that's the good thing about this. But if you ever want to have a secret weapon and you want to smell amazing, this is definitely worth finding. Bulgari Man in Black, my number three. All right, coming at number two, this one came out in 2010, and I've not heard a single fragrance reviewer talk about this fragrance. Um, I found it by coincidence, and it's from the house of Mason Mon Mangella, and this is called Untitled. Now this is before I knew about like By The Fireplace and Jazz Club. This one was out before then. But oh, so it's got a cedar and jasmine which gives it a nice floral tone. It's, I think it's a unisex offering. Incense, bitter orange and musk. It does smell very nice. It's a bottle's very unique. Um, again, they've done the same sort of cap, sorry, same sort of cap as they do with all the other ones. But to me, I think it's a lovely summer fragrance. Um, I don't know why it's been discontinued. I probably didn't sell it very well. Um, and probably in 2010, there was not a big fragrance community like we have now. 
it's not the same thing. But if you can find this one, Untitled, by Mason Mangella, might be worth it. My number two. Alright, which leads me to love number one, and this is, like I say, there's no, like, ten isn't better than one, and one isn't better than ten. I love them all. It's just sad they've gone. And this is from the house of Dolce & Gabbana, and this is masculine. It's came out in 1999, and again, this has got a lot of things going on. It's a, a Pretty much a 90s staple when they had about 4,000 notes in this. But basil, mint, vetiver, musk, fig leaf, and pettigrew makes this smell very classy, very unique. Again, there's, I'm trying to think of anything that's similar to this. And off the top, I can't really think of anything that smells like this, but it is an absolute beautiful scent. You can wear it all year round, um, like I said. Again, I've got, yeah, I've got a 100ml bottle again. I will probably never get through this one. But if you ever find this one, for, pff, I, I could, I've seen it once or twice go for about 70, 80 quid. At that price, it's a killer deal. So keep your eyes open. Dolce & Gabbana Masculine is my number one. Right, so there you have it, my top ten, another 10 discontinued fragrances. If you like this one and you want me to do a few more, let me know in the comments. I will continue to let you know what fragrances you might want to look out for. And if you can find them for a good price, that's what I'm here for. It's always my scent of the day, and this is Nishani Vetiver, and this is my scent, and it's a beautiful mixture of freshness and smokiness in a Vetiver fragrance. Absolutely stunning for this time of year. So that's my set of day. As always, what's your set of day? Let me know in the comments. And if you want a top 10 list, a fragrance review, or a question, please hit me up in the um, comments and all the rest of it. As always, I'm on Instagram with me fragrances. And as always, you absolute legends smell amazing. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. <laughs>